Hey, what is going on guys? And I'm going to quickly do my WWE Elimination Chamber 2017 pay-per-view predictions because it is tomorrow and I left it a little bit late, but I've been uh, kind of busy. So I'm just going to kind of go quickly through the matches. Um, so... You know, Elimination Chamber, we only have one Elimination Chamber match, which is kind of uh, disappointing because uh, I think we've had at least two the past couple of years. But um, I'm going to start off with the kickoff match, which will be on the pre-show. We have Mojo Rowley versus Kurt Hawkins. Uh, I definitely think that Mojo Rowley is going to win. And since Zack Ryder's been injured, Mojo Rowley you know, is on his own, so I definitely think he's going to win a singles match here. Um, you know, Kurt Hawkins, just don't think he's going to win. Um, okay, we have a two-on-one handicap match, Apollo Crews and Kalisto versus Dolph Ziggler. I think that Dolph Ziggler is going to win here. Um, you know, you've got the heel Ziggler. I reckon he's going to pull off the win here. Uh, we have Becky Lynch versus Mickey James. Um, I'm going to have to go with Mickey James on winning this one. And we have Nikki Bella versus Natalia. Got to go Nikki Bella. I'm sorry I'm doing these matches really quickly. It's just because I would have done a more detailed video. But um, most of these matches are... Not the greatest matches, and we've got three women's matches, which is a little bit strange. Um, so we have the SmackDown Tag Team Championship Turmoil match. We have American Alpha, The Usos, The Ascension, Heath Slater and Rhino, Bree Zango, and The Vod Villains. So um, I haven't actually thought about this yet. I do see new champions either being The Usos or The Ascension. It would be so cool if The Ascension won the tag team titles. That would be awesome. I hope they do, but I kind of don't think it's going to happen. I'm going to go with... The Usos on winning the WWE SmackDown Tag Team Championships, uh, you know, beating American Alpha for the titles. We also have Luke Harper versus the winner of the 2017 Royal Rumble match, Randy Orton. Um, Got to go with Randy on that one, uh, heading all the way to WrestleMania. Uh, we have the SmackDown Women's Championship match, Alexa Bliss versus Naomi. A little bit strange that no Naomi is in a title match, but um, a little bit different, I guess. But I've got to go with my girl, Alexa Bliss, on retaining the uh, WWE Women's Championship. And uh, SmackDown Women's Championship. And then we have our main event, which is the Elimination Chamber match. Six men. We have the champion, John Cena, AJ Styles, Bray Wyatt, Dean Ambrose, The Miz, and Baron Corbin. Um, this should be one hell of a match. I love Elimination Chamber matches. Usually they're quite um, extreme and really entertaining. Um, you know, you could have... A couple of winners in this. You could have Cena retaining. You could have maybe Baron win the title. I doubt they'd do that, though. Um, AJ could win it back, but I doubt it. Um, but I've got to go with uh, Bray Wyatt on winning the WWE Championship. And I know John Cena only just won it, so it's a little bit strange. But um, I, I think that they're going to do Bray Wyatt versus Randy Orton at WrestleMania. So I've got to go with Bray Wyatt on winning the title. If Bray Wyatt doesn't win, I'll be surprised. And then it might be like John Cena versus AJ versus Randy at Mania, maybe, or something like that. Um, but yeah, I've got to go with uh, Bray Wyatt on winning the WWE Championship, which would be absolutely awesome, because the only title he has won is the SmackDown Live Tag Team Championships, um, which that didn't last very long. But uh, yeah, uh, if, um, it's pretty cool that Baron Corbin's in this match, uh, along with all the other guys. I reckon that uh, The Miz and John Cena are going to have some sort of feud, because apparently it's going to be The Miz and Maurice versus John Cena and Nikki Bella at WrestleMania. That would be uh, you know, an interesting match, a mixed tag team match. But yeah, I've got to go with uh, Bray Wyatt winning the WWE Championship, which was would, which would be really awesome to see. So, um, yeah, so sorry I didn't really go into detail, but I was just like, oh man, I completely forgot to do my Elimination Chamber predictions and it's tomorrow, uh, you know, school tomorrow so I'm going to have to watch it after school but that is okay um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it uh, mainly just the Elimination Chamber match um, you know, you haven't got too many uh, great matches but I'm also kind of looking forward to the tag team um, turmoil match I actually, I really hope the Ascension one, that would be so awesome I actually like the Ascension uh, I wish they weren't jobbers and you've got like the Vod villains in there, Breezango pretty much full of jobbers um, but I do see the Usos winning, I also see American Alpha winning but I hope the Ascension win. If they did that, that would be so awesome. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> um, make sure you let me know your uh, predictions in the comments below. And what do you think of my predictions? Do you agree? Do you not agree? Um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I really want to hit 3,000 subscribers. I, I'm pretty close. And also check out my social media accounts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, add me on Snapchat, like my Facebook page. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Enjoy Elimination Chamber.